Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today I will teach you how to create this logo by using this shape tool. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly go to file then click on new. We have this 1366 and height 768 and resolution I want 300 this time. So we have this shape tool. In shape tool we have this uh, polygon tool. Uh, when you click there we have active this uh, options for this polygon tool. Now we have this sites. If we want uh, the sites suppose uh, 8. Now we will get 8 side of this polygon. Suppose this time I want uh, only 5 then you will get 5. If we want 4 sides of this polygon then we will get 4 sides. So in this way you can set the sides. I want three sides this time. Mm. Okay. Now we have this rectangle, but I want very smooth edges, round shape edges. So hit delete, and we have this option: mm. smooth corners and uh, radius. I want uh, 500 pixels. That's fine. Mm. So this is the polygon. I got uh, firstly control T so that we can um, okay now make a copy of this polygon again uh, firstly I will close the extra panels okay uh, now choose different color so that we can that's fine control t move it now click on ok now take a selection from this gray control click on there now hide this now go to this layer firstly <clears throat> control J so that we can make a new copy and hide this and right click on there and rasterize it now hit delete on the keyboard that's fine control D to deselect now make a copy of this same layer from cutting control J now I want uh, some different color so that we can differentiate ok control T position it so that we can ok now take a selection from this control click on there from the red and hide this and again go to this layer and hit delete control D to deselect now I will delete all extra layers now we have only two layers one is shape and one is background now again make a three copies of same layer one two three okay now we have three layers now choose the second control T Now set its position. That's fine. Now click on OK. Right click on there. Go to blending options. Uh, go to gradient. I want gradient. So this is black gradient. I want something uh, like um, I will choose it from my gradient pack. go to this black and white again this light red I want and uh, on the black side I want dark red now click on ok ok 
now I want radial make it reverse now set it here I want light from this side now you can adjust the scale value like this now click on OK now choose this third layer control T again Now click on OK, right click on there, go to blending options, mm, go to gradient, cancel it firstly, uh, firstly I will copy the gradient so that we can choose the same intensity of the light, copy layer style, now paste it on here, right click on there, go to blending options, gradient map, gradient overlay click on this gradient and uh, simply choose some different color mm, like uh, I want blue and that is 84 click on OK mm. 84 I will choose 184 click on OK click on OK and uh, set its position and this time 100 I want click on OK so firstly I will check this scale value it is 150 Mm, control Z. Now choose this first layer and uh, paste the setting. Now right click on there, go to blending options. This time choose this and uh, I want uh, yellow 58. Click on OK again fifty eight click on OK click on OK now these are the layers mm. go to third layer and make a copy and choose move tool I will firstly choose some different color so that we can differentiate the colors position it something here control T click on OK now Control click on there and take a selection and uh, firstly we have to make a new copy for this Control J Control click on there this layer and hit from this layer hit delete from this layer uh, sorry we have to invert the selection firstly Control Z Control Shift I Control Shift I. So I want like this. So choose eraser. Erase mm. extra portion and move it to up. Hit this layer also. 
delete this. Now I want black. Click on OK and reduce it opacity to 50%. That's fine and I want three copies of same by pressing Ctrl J, Ctrl J, Ctrl J. Now choose any one of this and uh, Ctrl T. Choose this layer and choose move tool. Control T. Now we have ready with the logo. Mm, now I will put all these layers into group. Now make a group and select all layers and move it to group. So this is before after. So I will control T. <clears throat> Now go to this group layer, I will do something different. So take a selection control T and choose this brush. And I want to white something. Okay, control J. Now I will apply pressure from the outside. That's very fine. Uh, again, this is the layer and make a new layer on this, upon this and take a selection. Mm, firstly, we have to set this angle of blending options that's ok and uh, go to new layer this and apply a brush from the upper part Similarly on this red layer. This layer and make a new copy. Control click on there, take a selection, choose brush. That's fine. Control D to deselect. Now we are ready with the logo. Mm. Go to this background layer go to blending options choose gradient I want mm. firstly we have to set this this white brush it is coming outside of the selection click on ok go to this layer hit delete and again make a new copy and now this time take selection and apply brush we have to do something different 
go to elif tool and uh, take a sorry selection here and fill it with black control d to deselect and go to filter blur and gaussian blur reduce it as best now we are ready with the logo so thank you friends keep watching our inspiration i hope you have enjoyed this video and you got very many different ideas from this logo making thank you friends you can subscribe our channel on youtube as well as like our page on facebook